It's been quite a while since I published the last video, but here I am again with a new big update. Let's dive into the new features. Okay, so I'm here in a blueprint graph and I selected all nodes and what you can do, you can click right click on these nodes and click on add comments. This is one of the new features and let us wait for a couple of seconds and then the AI automatically will add comments to this entire thing and there we go. This just took a couple of seconds and now we have an overall comment of what this is all for and also comments for important segments of this code that further explains what this is exactly doing. I absolutely love this feature. I, I just love this feature. But let's go over the other features because we have a couple more ones. So let me go into the event graph here and let me just delete everything, okay? So one of the new features is that you now can normally chat with the AI. So if I ask it, hey, it asks me how it can assist me today. I can also ask it um, who, f uh, who created this program and it would no will know that you are talking about Unreal Engine and uh, answers all your questions you might have. You can also ask things, sp specific things about uh, specific stuff. What you can also do is you can combine this with the already existing features. So let me um, do a example. Let me choose uh, a random node. Let me right click and use the existing explaining node feature. Okay. And I'm not sure why my screen is flickering again. And my monitor is still broken. And this now returned an explanation for this node. We can now combine this and let's say, ask it another question. What is this used for? Explain it further. This is a bad example because it literally says it here, but I'm just showing you that it knows what it just, just did and then answers your question correctly. So let's give it a call, there we go. And this just explains everything you need. And um, Let's continue with a new feature and this is we can ask it now to spawn all nodes from the actor category for example. And so this is the new spawn nodes feature. This will only spawn nodes from specific categories in a future update. You will be able to write spawn all nodes that have an actor as an input, for example. So you, it will be more complex. This is the first iteration of this feature. For now, you can spawn stuff from categories. So, okay, I just got interrupted. So let me just do it again. Spawn all nodes from the actor category. Let me type it. It uses the node spawner. It spawned 85 nodes and as you can see, it spawns, when you search for actor, it spawns all the nodes that are here, so actor and tick. It spawns all the nodes that are in the subcategory, all the nodes that are in this main category. It even searches other other main categories uh, if the subcategory that you are trying to search is included and then even spawns these nodes. And this also works for plugins and I absolutely love this feature. I, I absolutely love this. Usually when you develop a plugin, and you are finished and you want to take a picture of your notes, for example, then you need all the notes and you need to do it one by one. And now you can just tell the AI to do it and it is done, okay? It is done. This, I, I absolutely love this feature. And another feature that I really love is that you can just tell it to, for example, um, please uh, uh, show the FPS in the editor and what it will do, it will activate this and this um, didn't work. So let's try it just again. And this now shows the FPS in the editor. Um, it doesn't work for all editor settings. Another example is that you can, for example, do a Z uh, graphics to low, please. Um, and now it will set the graphic settings to low. Perfect without you needing to search for the setting in, in weird menus. Okay, it won't work for all settings. I'm working to improve this in a future update. One last new thing, and then I will show you the other features if you are seeing this for your first time. So if you click on open plugin settings, you now have a settings screen. Okay, and here you can find a change log and a modules. Uh, 
segment and in this segment you have all these features basically and these are all act activated and these actions are the ones when you right click on a node and the other features are accessible via a chat so in the future i will put even more information here and of course add more features and then add the appropriate module to this too so uh, if you are new to this let me go into a blueprint and let me for example let me search a random ass node for example this one i showed it um, a second ago but you can just click explain node and it will explain this node and then you can ask further questions if you don't grasp uh, grasp the concept of this node yet um, another feature is uh, let me go into my other blueprint where was it it was here um, this next feature is pretty simple and straightforward so let me go into an existing blueprint for example this one as let me select all the nodes and let me select explain selected code let me move this again to the main screen and this will just explain the code you selected so just give it a few seconds it will analyze the entire code you have selected if it, the selection is big it will take a longer time so it will show you step by step what this is doing okay and the last uh, is uh, the last feature is the issue finder so let me just unconnect any uh, something and let me do select everything and call the find issues feature and what this will do is or let me put it to the main screen again this will diagnose the entire selection and find issues or potential issues for you. Sometimes it um, thinks something is an issue, but it actually isn't. So let me go to this, for example, the line trace by channel. Let me go to the node. It says the world context object pin is not connected. This is true. And the out hit is also not connected. This could be um, potential issues. In this case, this actually is an issue. We just disconnected it. So let me connect this. And if we were to ask again it wouldn't um, uh, mark this as an issue so these are uh, these features but we have a big the main feature basically is the function generator you can ask it generate a function that sorts an array of actors uh, by distance to another to a to a vector um, uh, please create an struct for this and also a enum to determine uh, how to return the sorted array. Let me do this and it is using the function generator correctly and if we give it a couple of seconds it generated a node. And uh, you can see this has an error if you compile sometimes these errors go away uh, in this case There is actually an error and if this happens you see this generation might contain an issue message pops up And the cool thing about this you can click on the details button and, and Then the details button will copy something to your clipboard This is like a random code that gets copied to your clipboard You can send this to me and then I can debug what went wrong so I can improve this in the future and the next update actually focuses a lot on function generation to improve a few issues it currently has and to make it work for even more complex stuff. The future of this plugin is absolutely bright, okay? I have so many ideas. It, it, I, I want to tell you so bad, but it is absolutely mind-blowing, okay? I've researched this now for over two years and I've worked on this for over two years. This will be so insane. I, I am cooking things up, okay? Whoa, this was the first bigger update. Stay tuned for more. This will be absolutely insane, okay? Um, I hope you have a great day. I had a good one. It is my birthday today. And I just decided to finally push this out no matter what. And I worked through almost the entire day to just release this now. And I'm happy that I'm finally done. I hope there aren't any issues. If there are, just DM me or on Discord. Or hit me up with an email and I will check, okay? Goodbye.